How's it going, everyone? Um, so before I get started, uh, so today I'm going to talk about how to get rid of IBS gas pain. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. Um, so yeah, IBS gas pain, if you guys don't know, um, if you guys don't know what IBS is, it's irritable bowel syndrome. That's what it is. Um, um, with um, with IBS, what will happen is generally your stomach will growl. It can feel very nauseous. You can get a ton of gas from it. So that's basically anything to do with stomach issues. Gas has to do with irritable bowel. A lot of things are classified as IBS. Um, one of the things that I had when I had IBS is my stomach would growl and then once what, once what happened is that because I would try to suck in my stomach, because that's how you can get rid of growling in your stomach, you just suck in your stomach and I found that gets rid of growling because it's so embarrassing to be sitting in class, in college and having your stomach growl so loud. People just stare and look at you. Some people even say, shut up. So, um... What I recommend doing um, is to take a Gas X product. I did not do this. I found another way. Actually, I struggled um, in college for my last three months with IBS. I kind of just, I really didn't sit in many of the lessons. I just kind of went out of the room and sat in the common area. You were allowed to do this because I was so far ahead, but. With that being said, the IBS, you guys, to prevent it, what I have found out the number one way, again, is to take a gas X product, but it's to watch your fiber intake. This is something that I was not doing, and it's so basic, and I guarantee you a lot of you that are having IBS, you aren't watching your fiber intake. It's not really, it's your fiber intake, but it's also certain foods. Certain foods will cause your IBS. I guarantee you that my triggers were yams and chickpeas. Not chickpeas, regular peas, like green peas and yams. Once I stopped doing the peas, my stomach was a lot better because what I was doing is I'd have like three, three cups of peas for lunch, which really, it was pretty filling, but it's still, I still had other stuff as well. I think I had a sandwich too. So three cups of peas, Peas have a ton of fiber, five grams of fiber per cup. So I was eating like 15 grams of fibers and then I'd have like a whole grain bread sandwich. That was 20 to 25 grams of fiber. That is why my stomach was going absolutely nuts. Um, so yeah, end of video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please follow me on Instagram, Dillenberg999. Thank you.